Where concept is very simple, calculation is a bit tough. But concept we can understand. Calculation they will go into a bit detail. Uh, that is the idea of uh, algebraic classes. Everybody, if I am having a portfolio of 10 lakhs, I want to have some idea of what uh, classes I can suffer so that I can sleep happily. See, if I know that max I can suffer 1 lakh or last, I can go to sleep because I can live with it. So that's why the concept of where came. Where, suppose, where basically says that, say, I have a 95% chance Right, that uh, I won't lose more than one lakh say. I am example. I have a ninety-five percent chance that we are, I won't lose more than one lakh today. Let us be specific. So that means that suppose if you take the opposite of that. What is that? There is a 5% chance yeah, that I will lose more than 1 lakh today. This 1 lakh I have taken as an example. Depending upon my portfolio, my risk position, it can be 2 lakhs, 3 lakhs. Sir. So, here what you can say, just for the opposite I have done. This 95% I can say with my confidence level. 95% of the time I am confident that I won't lose more than 1 lakh today. Given the history of market conditions. After studying so much of history, of market movements, of stock returns. Okay. Now, this 1 lakh is my VAR number. can't be where, value at this. 90, I am 95% confident that I won't lose more than 1 lakh. So after doing various calculations, I have arrived at this where number. And I have 5% chance that I can lose more than 1 lakh. Okay. That means, suppose you take a normal distribution. Why I am taking a normal distribution every time? What is my assumption? My assumption is that I am living in a normal distribution world. So exactly that is the criticism of where. The where critics argue that you are not living in a normal world. Ah, in case of financial markets, extreme events are very regular. And you are assuming a normal world and building your models, creating your equations. That is where the risk is, danger is. So, if you take a normal distribution, if this is the mean, suppose I am arriving at this 95%, this is 5%. This is my work bear number. So to the right of the distribution is 95%. To the left is 5%. So now I say that 95% of the time I am confident that my loss will be will not exceed. At 5%, I can vary my confidence level. I can say, I, I want, no, 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 sir, I want 99% confidence level. You can vary your confidence level and calculate. That's a basic uh, 
answer from where? Or if you want, that is uh, what they express in mathematical terms. That is the probability that my portfolio value. will fall more than one line is fine. It exists. So there are various assumptions are there. And uh, improving on that, you have what you call crash matrix. So what is the difference between where and crash matrix is where operates only in the normal world. That's why we have to call, we assume that the, the returns are distributed normally. What do you mean by uh, returns are distributed normally or uh, normal distribution is that everything of everything I can describe by, by only two terms mu and sigma. I assume that all my distribution is defined by mu and sigma. So, so that is not the case. So then some other matrix have come. Matrix. So this map is developed by J.P. Morgan in what they call it is a risk matrix that around 1992 or so, 1994. So after that new innovations have come. Or uh, some uh, you know, innovations what they have done is, I think all of you are aware of this uh, something called sharp ratio. We use sharp ratio to evaluate performance of a portfolio or performance of a fund manager. What sharp ratio says simply is that what is the excess return? Over risk free. By standard deviation. So if you take uh, that is risk free, but some symbol they use, suppose R F. Or you can take portfolio return. Might have already studied this one. Now they have modified this using was as uh, some measure of uh, performance. What they say is that if a fund is there, daily profit and loss by daily wire number, normal uh, no, convention is we use a small a here. When small a is used, it is value at risk. The capital A is usually becomes valuation of these models. Mm. That is a small difference. Uh, no, normally that uh, finance people follow. Any other clarification that is our, which we can discuss? I am just trying to, I am uh, going more into this uh, no statistics so that so because why we think is that many people assume that it is a some story examination. It is not so. It is a MCQ, very you know, I think you, uh, the questions. How you apply it to <coughs> attack the question. They want to ask you write 20 pages on four types of derivatives. <laughs> like <laughs> futures, forwards, options and swaps. Right, 10 pages means you can go on describing. One person came, this person has gone there, this person. This is different. So, if this that is a, that's what we will we'll know only after the event, after the examination. What damage has happened? After you go to the exam, you will realize that uh, this, uh, the preparation needed is different. It is like, uh, now, if you are in a market crash, you will know it only after 3.30. Because I have seen, I myself, when the human psychology is there. When you are in a very losing position, I will mean just, when you are in a losing position, 
you won't feel the pain. You may be think, traders only will know that. Because the mind and the brain releases a chemical called you know, many you know, medical people are somehow. When you are hit with an accident, you don't feel the pain immediately. Or a severely bleeding girl. And that is that because the trading psychology experts know that. Because you will keep expecting that by, by 3.30 somehow you will get out of this condition. It will uh, not uh, no, deteriorate further. So, what happens? Suppose initially you will go into minus 10,000. Minus 40,000. You will keep looking at the screen. Minus 1 lakh. Keep looking at the screen. Minus 2 lakhs. What happens? It's like uh, what you call? Ah, yeah, go. Oh. Ah. You will uh, get into a. Because I personally experience this and I would tell. Not because you know, I can't go into others' mind and tell. So, what happens is. Once the market closes, then you realize what is the what what had hit you. It is like uh, you know, suppose uh, there is a uh, there is a, some small samita uh, correct samita adage uh, when a frog is put into a slightly boiling water, it won't jump out. It will keep. If it is hard, it will jump out. So like that, small deteriorating position, like uh, no, deer in the headlights. The deer hunters, what they will do is they will focus the light on the deer eyes. So it will be seeing still there. That is there they will hunt it. Radars are also uh, similar. They will, uh, no, Think that they will come out of that situation anyway by 3.30 and uh, no, some margin call will come um, or uh, some uh, call from spouse will come so immediately back to our position come to house because the worst thing you uh, a trader can do is telling his position to other person <laughs> I think Shekhar knows very well being a day trader in the market once you tell your position to others, you will get frightened. They, are, they will frighten you. It's a psychological. Huh? Okay. okay. And what I mean to say is uh, that frightening effect. And also, the, the situations work against you when you openly tell your positions. That means you are tempting the what you call in the. Uh, no, in trading, you are tempting the god of speculation. If you openly tell your position or you boast yourself, immediately the market takes care of you. Uh, the market knows where your weakness is. So, it will come to the point uh, where you can't bear that pain. Suppose, uh, in the last three days, maybe from 8,300, it keeps coming down. You won't cut here. You will think I will wear this class with nothing for me. Within one hour I can recover. <laughs> now you come here. Some 8,100. This is a one day, one day effort for me. Or one day, two day effort for me. You will come here. Because you have already expressed your thing, you get some ego. That's why the way of telling you is not to Many people ask me, sir, you are such an expert, I am afraid to use that word, expert. Sir, you should know, sir, how much about financial finance markets. And all your room is full of finance books, sir. And uh, please tell me what will happen tomorrow. So then I get very much frightened. <laughs> no, I can trade the market with my risk, my position limits, my stop loss. But once I tell you, I become uh, locked in that. So I will 